Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to disable the rewrite AI feature in Notepad for Windows 11. So if you use Notepad on Windows 11, you might have noticed the rewrite feature right here, which is a tool that lets you rephrase selected text and adjust the tone and length using cloud-based AI. While it aims to enhance usability, some users find it unnecessary because it's supposed to be a simple text editor. Additionally, using this feature requires you to sign in with your Microsoft account and consumes AI credits. Okay, let's down to the steps to disable this AI feature in Notepad. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Now, if you want to disable the rewrite AI tool in Notepad, just do this. Go to the settings page for Notepad, scroll down and under AI features, just turn off the rewrite toggle switch and that's it. Now, not only you are not going to see the AI tool on Notepad, but this also removes that option that makes you sign in with your Microsoft account in Notepad. Now, if for some reason you want to re-enable the feature, again, just open the settings page for Notepad, scroll down and turn on the rewrite feature. And then when you go to the actual app, you're going to see the rewrite feature right here. And because this requires you to use AI credits, you will have to be signed in with your Microsoft account. So if you're not signed in, you will have to click this button right here, and then you will have to sign into you with your Microsoft account. And that's it. That's how you disable the rewrite feature in Notepad. Now, in the future, if Microsoft decides to add even more AI features, they will be listed right here, and this will be the place to turn them off. Now, let me know in the comments what you think about this feature and if you're going to be turning it off and why. Also, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.